Hello my scholars and welcome to the My School channel. My name is Angela and in this video we are going to be reviewing the government's jam pass question for the year 2023. Please don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the My School channel. In this video, we're going to be reviewing questions 41 to 60. Let's begin with question 41. Which African country experienced a violent resistance movement against British colonial rule known as the Mau Mau Rebellion? A. Sudan, B. Kenya, C. Ghana, D. Nigeria. So the answer to this question is B. Kenya. The Mau Mau group was a military group that was created by the Kikuyu tribe in Kenya and they created this group to revolt against British colonial rule because they were not happy with how they took their land from them and made them to work on that land. So answer to this question is B. Kenya. Question 42. Public corporations and parastatals are typically established by A. Private individuals B. Legislative acts and statutes C. Trade unions D. International organizations So the answer to this question is B. Legislative acts and statutes Public corporations and parastatals are organizations that are created by an act of parliament to provide essential services to the people. Some of these essential services include pipe bond water, electricity, post offices, etc. And so it is an act of parliament, it is the legislature that decides which public corporation should be created to provide the services to the people. So the answer to this question is B, legislative acts and statutes. Question 43. The Ijo people of pre-colonial Nigeria were organized into A, grades, B, clans, C, federations, D, chiefdoms. So the answer to this question is B, clans. Clans are communities of people that are united by actual or perceived kinship. They may actually be related to one another or they may believe that they are related to one another. So they call each other brothers and sisters in that particular clan. The Ijo people were organized into clans in pre-colonial Nigeria. Each of these clans had a leader. They had their own tradition and their own structure. So the answer to this question is B, clans. Okay. Question 44. Civil servants are typically protected by A, military forces and security agencies, B, civil service commission, C, trade union and labor laws, D, human rights organizations. So answer to this question is B, civil service commission. The civil service commission is an independent body that has been created by the government to recruit, to promote and to protect the rights of civil servants. They protect the rights of civil servants by ensuring that the government does not do anything that is against the interest of the civil servants. So our answer to this question is B, Civil Service Commission. Question 45. The judiciary checks the other arms of government through A, judicial recall, B, judicial precedence, C, judicial review, D, judicial oversight. So the answer to this question is C, judicial review. Judicial review is a process by which judiciary reviews the actions of the legislature and the executive to ensure that their actions are according to the dictates of the constitution. This is a check on the legislative and executive arm of the government. This is done to ensure that they are following the constitution properly. So answer to this question is C, judicial review. Question 46. What is the primary source of revenue for the local government in Nigeria? A, taxes. B, grants from foreign countries, C, oil revenue, D, federal government allocations. So the answer to this question is D, federal government allocations. The federal government is in charge of dividing the revenue that has been generated by the country among the state and the local governments. This is done to ensure that the local governments can be able to perform their duties appropriately. So the primary source of revenue is from the federal governments. The local government can get revenue from other sources like taxes that are levied on the constituents and grants from foreign countries, but the primary source of revenue is federal government allocation. So answer is D. Question 47. Youth sanguinis is a principle that grants citizenship based on A. Parental citizenship, B. Place of birth, 
see ethnic background, D, length of residency. So the answer to this question is A, parental citizenship. Youth sanguinis is a principle that is practiced in so many different countries. They grant citizenship to people who have parents who are citizens of that particular country. This is different from youth soils, which grants citizenship based on place of birth. That means where you are born. So our answer to this question is A, parental citizenship. Do you know you can take practice questions with a simulated jump CBT pass question? All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below. This takes you to the My School website where you can download the My School mobile app for your Android devices and the My School software for your laptops and computers. Please go ahead and start practicing. Now, on to question 48. Which pre colonial Nigerian kingdom was known for its artistic and cultural achievements? A. Nupe, B. Igbo, C. Kanem Bono, D. Benin. The answer to this question is D. Benin because the Benin Empire is known for its brass carvings, its ivory carvings, and its palace architecture. And all of this contributed to modern Western art. Nupe and Kanem Bono Empire, and also the Igbo traditional society were known for creating several artistic pieces, but Benin is primarily known for its artistic and cultural achievements. So our answer to this question is D, Benin. I believe you're enjoying this content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 49. Nigeria's foreign policy is guided by the principle of A. Military dominance, B. Economic self-sufficiency, C. National interest, D. Territorial expansion. So the answer to this question is C, national interest. This means that Nigeria's foreign policy is based on the interest of the nation. When we're talking about national interest, we mean political interest, economic interest, social interest, even security interest. And so Nigeria chose to focus their policy on the interest of the nation and not on military dominance, not on economic self-sufficiency or territorial expansion, but on the growth and development of the nation. So the answer to this question is C national interest. Question 50. The Nigerian constitution guarantees freedom of speech under which fundamental rights? A. Right to freedom of thought. B. Right to privacy. C. Right to freedom of expression. And D. Right to life. So the answer to this question is C. Right to freedom of expression. The fundamental human rights are the rights that are stipulated by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was created by the United Nations in 1948. So one of the rights is the right to freedom of expression, and Nigeria assures this. This means that the press is free to say whatever they want to say without oppression or suppression from the government. So our answer to this question is C, right to freedom of expression. Question 51. The term lobbying refers to A, campaigning for political office, B, advocating for social justice, C, organizing grassroots movements, D, seeking to influence government decisions. So the answer to this question is D, seeking to influence government decisions. Lobbying refers to the process by which pressure group try to influence the decisions made by the government to favor their cause. Remember, pressure group is a group that consists of people with similar professional or social interests, they come together to help to influence government decisions to favor their interests. So pressure groups do this. They try to influence lawmakers and government officials to help to make decisions that will favor their interests. And so our answer to this question is D, seeking to influence government decisions. Question 52. Which of the following is a characteristic of pressure groups? A, they aim to gain political power. B, they are funded by the government. C, they are political parties. D, they represent the interest of a specific section of the society. So what we have to do is to look at each of the options to see which is correct. A, they aim to gain political power. Pressure groups don't aim to gain political power. Rather, they aim to influence those already in power to make decisions that will favor them. They are not funded by the government. They are actually funded by the individuals who belong to that group. They are not political parties because they don't campaign for election. Rather, they try to influence government decisions. So they do media campaigns that help to influence those decisions, but they do not campaign for office. Lastly, they represent the interest of a specific section of the society. This is the correct answer because they are representing the interest of their particular organization. It can be a professional one, it can be social, it can even be justice-oriented. 
but they are representing only a section of the society and not the entire society. So our answer to this question is D. Question 53. Conservatism is an ideology that emphasizes A, individual freedom and limited government intervention, B, radical social change and progress, C, equal distribution of wealth, and D, traditional values and institution. So answer to this question is D, traditional values and institution. The conservatism is an ideology that helps to ensure that the traditional values or the values that have been created a long time ago are continuously enforced in society to ensure that things go on as smoothly as they always have been. So this is different from liberalism, which is another ideology that advocates for individual freedom and limited government intervention. They often advocate for social change and progress, and they advocate for equal distribution of wealth. So liberalism and conservatism are on either side of the spectrum. Conservatism is on the right. They usually call them right-winged, while the liberals are called left-winged. So our answer to this question is D, traditional values and institution. Question 54. The Okuta panel was established in Nigeria to A, monitor military spending, B, facilitate arms trade regulations, C, investigate human rights abuses during the military rule, and D, promote military intervention in politics. So the answer to this question is C, investigate human rights abuses during the military rule. So the Okuta panel or the panel for human rights violation investigation was created in 1999 by the civilian government of that time. It was headed by Chuku Defe Okuta, who was a Supreme Court justice and was told to investigate the human rights abuses that occurred during the military regime between 1966 and 1999. So the answer to this question is C investigate human rights abuses during military rule. Question 55. Without presidential assent, the legislature can pass a bill into law with the votes of dash majority, A, one-fifth, B, two-third, C, one-third, and D, absolute. So the answer to this question is B, two-third. In this particular situation, a president is supposed to sign a bill that has been approved by the legislature but if it chooses not to sign it, the legislature can override the executive by taking a vote in both the Senate and the House of Representatives. So two third of the majority allows for the passing of this bill into law. So answer to this question is B, two third. Question 56. Which institution is responsible for the regulation and supervision of capital markets in Nigeria? A. Nigerian Stock Exchange, NSE, B. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, C. Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria, FRCN, and D. Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC. So the answer to this question is B. The Securities and Exchange Commission is in charge of overseeing securities activities. They help to protect investors and they also ensure the fair and efficient functioning of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The Nigerian Stock Exchange is where securities are traded and is the central component of the capital market in Nigeria. The Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria and Corporate Affairs Commission have nothing to do with the capital market. They just oversee the affairs of businesses in Nigeria. So answer to this question is B, Securities and Exchange Commission. Do you have a question? Please feel free to ask your question by clicking the link in the description below. This takes you to the My School website where you can ask your question and solution will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now on to question 57. The zoning system in Nigerian politics refers to A, the rotation of power among different regions, B, the process of selecting party leaders, C, the allocation of campaign funds, and D, the system of proportional representation. So the answer to this question is A, the rotation of power among different regions. Nigeria is a country with different ethnic groups, different languages, different cultures, different religion. And so to ensure that power is not concentrated in a particular region in Nigeria, there is an agreement among the politicians in Nigeria to ensure that power is not restricted to a single region in the country. So our answer to this question is A, the rotation of power among different regions. Do you have a better explanation or solution to any of these questions? Please feel free to indicate by going down to the comment section below to indicate the question number and the solution you would like to share. Question 58. Judges in the International Court of Justice are appointed for a period of dash years A12, B5, C4, and D9. 
So the answer to this question is nine. The judges in the International Court of Justice are appointed every nine years. The International Court of Justice is a central organ of the United Nations, and these judges are appointed by the United Nations General Assembly and the Security Council for the United Nations. So to third of the majority of the United Nations General Assembly and nine out of 15 members of the Security Council are needed for the appointment of a judge in the International Court of Justice. So answer to this question is D, nine. Question 59. The 1963 Constitution created a list of powers exclusively reserved for the A, federal government, B, state government, C, regional government, and D, local government. So answer to this question is A, federal government, the 1963 constitution was the first republican con constitution that helped to divide power between the federal government and the various regional governments in the country. And so there were certain powers that were exclusively reserved for the federal government. And this includes powers relating to defense, the economy, immigration, foreign policies, e etc. The regional governments, however, were in charge of local needs such as education and health. So answer to this question is A, federal government. Question 60. When Africa is the centerpiece of Nigeria's foreign policy, it is said to be dash A, Afrocentric, B, regional, C, concentric, D, Pan-African. So the answer to this question is A, Afrocentric. When a particular foreign policy is said to be Afrocentric, that means it is focusing on Africa's interests, our values, and our growth and development. So our answer to this question is A, Afrocentric. I believe you are enjoying this content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.